Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have the vulnerability. According to Forbes, there was a company called Checkmarks who found quite the vulnerability a few years ago when it came to Alexa devices. Basically, the company works to test the security of different devices, and when they were running Alexa through the checks, they found something that might turn your assistant into a device that just listens to and records every single thing you say. Basically, Alexa has a function where it listens for follow-up commands from the user. What I mean by this is, should you set an alarm, Alexa might reply and ask you if you meant AM or PM, and it's during this sort of follow-up period where the vulnerability shows itself. The team was able to gain access quite easily by installing malicious code into what would seem like an innocent app. In this case, it was a calculator. After doing this in a normal Alexa, there would only be a certain list of phrases that would have the device listening for a follow-up question, but now with this malicious code, they found a way for Alexa to listen for the follow-up, but without any word, meaning they could essentially tap in any time they wanted. Apparently, the good news is, is that Amazon has fixed this in response to the hack. They said, quote, customer trust is important to us and we take security and privacy seriously. We have put mitigations in place for detecting this type of skill behavior reported by check marks. While it seems safe, hearing these sorts of possibilities does make you pretty nervous about what could be hiding behind your Alexa. In our number nine spot today, we have the listeners. If you own an Alexa device, you can download this thing, and then once you have it, you can ask Alexa to ask the listeners, and something spooky happens. Amazon describes it as, quote, an experiment in language art that provides, if you simply keep asking to continue, many fragments of both scripted and improvised speech in an intriguing, emergent narrative. You will never hear the listeners say exactly the same thing twice, but the listeners is not a chatbot or an AI. They are more of a drama or a simple game. Get started with Alexa, ask the listeners, and then continue, go on, or try something like, I am filled with joy, or what are you feeling? The listeners will suggest ways to transact with them. You might also want to ask them, let the other voices speak. What in the actual hell did I just read? That sounds absolutely frightening. And to be honest, all of the reviews on Amazon say the exact same thing. People who experienced it said it scared the heck out of them. So I think I'll take their word for it. In our number eight spot today, we have the argument. There was a Reddit thread a few years ago that prompted the question, what is your creepy Alexa story? A user named Meat Macho replied to the thread and they definitely delivered quite the story. Basically, they explained that one day they and their wife were having an argument. Of course, no one is having a good time, and it's definitely not a time to be playing tricks on each other, so neither of them could explain what happened next. They wrote, quote, Wife and I were arguing about something, no clue what it was, but it was getting a little heated. I don't know what Alexa thought she heard, but she suddenly interjected with, Why don't we change the subject? It was just so unexpected and relevant enough to be creepy. We both heard it, and we both still talk about it years later. There was nothing in the app logs. I guess Alexa isn't just a trusty assistant, she's also a marriage counselor. While she may have worked to possibly stop the fight between these two, I'm sure she also instilled a new fear that neither of them knew that they had before. In our number seven spot today, we have Are You Recording Me? So we've all had to call into some sort of customer service line where we get the automated message or the person on the other end tells us that the call may be recorded for quality assurance purposes or training or whatever it is. It's a law thing. They gotta let you know. In fact, if you ask Siri this question, are you recording me, she'll get kind of confused and respond that she's unsure of what you mean, but she could do an internet search for you. Alexa, on the other hand, she's not so slick with her secrets, at least not in the past, because some users reported something creepy happening after asking Alexa the same question. Well, I'm sure all of the legalities to this one are located in the terms and conditions and all of that good stuff. It doesn't make it any less creepy that when some people ask Alexa if she was recording them, Alexa just didn't respond at all and suddenly shut off. She's just out here ignoring people. She's dodging questions, and that only makes me have more questions. I'm not even sure if this is enough to get me to read the terms and conditions, though. It's the most often lie I've ever told. In our number six spot today, we have the greetings. So apparently there are rumors that Alexa can speak to people that have already passed away. If that's really true, we don't talk about that enough. Of course, my brain was immediately skeptical upon hearing this information, but some people swear it's true. Apparently, if you ask Alexa to greet people, some 
some have experienced her coming back to them with the name of a deceased loved one. Another person experienced their Alexa without being asked anything, and only when they turned on one specific light in the house would say hello and then the name of their grandmother who had passed three years prior. This person was incredibly confused and totally freaked out by this because it didn't just happen once, it happened multiple times. They explained that they also didn't have an Alexa during the time that she was alive, and that she also doesn't believe she ever spoke her grandmother's name out loud in front of the Alexa. Maybe this was just some weird coincidence, but it certainly sounds like Miss Alexa is giving off some major Ouija board vibes. In our number five spot today, we have the spy device. Um, this like crazy Alexa story is so freaky that I just had to share it with you guys. The story starts off in the midst of the storyteller's mom going through a divorce, which we all know can be a messy, messy situation. So the ex-husband in this situation had apparently planted an insane amount of hidden cameras throughout the house that they had to search for to find once the pair had split up. There were entrances and exits, the living and dining room, the hallways, the bedroom, every Everywhere in the house was being monitored. Then they found out that he had bugged her laptop so as to be able to have remote access to it. And then when she took her car in for an oil change, the mechanic found a tracking device that had been placed on it. This was all found during the separation era, but once the divorce process actually started, things got even creepier. They wrote, quote, once the divorce started and he officially moved out, we scanned the entire house for bugs and didn't find anything. So we really freaked out when he started calling, texting, emailing her, complimenting her outfits, asking how her friends were as they were in the house, asking how her trip to the store was, and other really odd things he couldn't have known about. As it turns out, this guy somehow connected his phone to the Alexa dot beforehand, and he was now using it to record whoever was close enough to the Alexa to be picked up on the mic, and at this point he was still able to access the laptop and its camera. How absolutely horrifying is that? He was literally using the Alexa to spy on them. It's scary, it's disgusting, and it definitely makes you you question every single person who might be connected to your devices. In our number four spot today, we have the spooky story. You can ask Alexa to tell you a scary story and she will happily oblige. There isn't really a catch with this one, to be perfectly honest, if you want a scary story, you'll receive one, so just make sure you're really ready and in the mood before asking your assistant for a fright. This can be an awesome tool for people looking for a spooky tale, for anyone in the home who needs some chilling entertainment, but beware, these stories can be a little too scary for some. There was a video posted to the internet in October of last year where some people at a sleepover asked Alexa to tell them a spooky Halloween tale and things very quickly went awry. They were all way too terrified of the story Alexa told next and couldn't get the Alexa to stop. They were all sufficiently freaked out and reacted in a way that I know will be a core memory for the years to come. And they definitely learned not to ask Alexa this question. In our number three spot today, we have the local spots. This is a creepy story that took place back in 2018. 18 and happened to the owner of an Amazon Echo, which of course features Alexa. Basically, this person explained that they had returned home one night and everything was fine, nothing out of the ordinary happened at all, until, totally unprompted, their Alexa just started talking. This was definitely weird, but things turned super creepy when they realized what it was that their Alexa was saying. As it turns out, their Alexa, out of the blue, just started listing off local cemeteries and funeral homes to them. How eerie is that? This story was posted to Twitter by the user at Hey It's Camo, and they finished off their tweet by saying, quote, I'd rather it laugh at me, TBH. Me too, Camo. Me too. Apparently, their theory behind this one is that maybe their Alexa wants them dead because they play the same Spotify playlist over and over again. In our number two spot today, we have 20 questions. So I didn't know this, but apparently you can play 20 questions with Alexa, and she is also frighteningly good at it. A little too good sometimes, however, and that is exactly what prompted the Reddit user PelPel4 to ask the Reddit question, what is your creepy Alexa story? The user decided to ask the internet this question after a strange 20 questions with Alexa encounter that they and their wife had. They explained, quote, my my wife and I were playing 20 questions and, spoiler alert, our answer was pig. We got through until the end and Alexa guessed Bazenji. Now, I don't know how many of you know what a Bazenji is, but they're a very rare barkless dog and I happen to have one. We've bought some Bazenji themed things off of Amazon before, so it's either that or she's listening. But I mean, come on, she didn't even say dog, straight to Bazenji. Anyone else have similar
similar stories? That would definitely be pretty unsettling, to say the least. Not that a pig and a dog are like the most unsimilar things, it's just how she was so specific with this breed. It must have been stored in there somewhere, right? In our number one spot today, we have Don't Go. This creepy Alexa story comes from the Reddit user MyTaiGuy72, and they said, quote, I got woken up at 4 a.m. this morning to Alexa repeating some incoherent phrase over and over. She was saying something like, don't go into the house, but I really couldn't fully understand it. It was sort of a mumble. By the time I came downstairs, she had repeated it about four or five times. I listened one or two more times to try and figure out what the hell it was saying exactly, but never could. I just unplugged the damn thing and I have no plans of turning it back on. Is it just me or does that sound like Alexa was watching some kind of a horror movie? Like, don't go into the house. It's so terrifying, especially to hear in the middle of the night. I don't blame this person for unplugging the thing and leaving it somewhere to be forgotten about. Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we have Alexa Laugh. This actually is one that wreaked havoc back in 2018 and sent a bunch of people absolutely spiraling. It's definitely creepy enough to have Alexa answer a question with some eerie words. Words, but what would you do if your Alexa just randomly started laughing out of nowhere? Back in 2018, hundreds of people unfortunately experienced that. One person who had this happen to them took to the internet to write, quote, I was lying in my bed about to fall asleep when Alexa on my Amazon Echo Dot lets out a very loud and creepy laugh before they ended their post with their fears of getting killed that night. I mean, can you blame them? I hear one strange but very reasonable noise in my house, and I immediately think that something horrible is about to happen. Either an evil person or a poltergeist, there's no in between. In the end, Amazon actually had to acknowledge this problem because it was so big. They ended up changing the phrase that they basically used as a scapegoat for this whole freaky situation. They changed the command from Alexa, laugh, to Alexa, can you please laugh? They said that the changing of this phrase would solve the problems because they said it was causing, quote, false positives and setting the device off. Seems suspicious, but at least the problem seems to have been fixed for now. In our number nine spot today, we have Spilling Secrets. This is more just like a freaky Alexa story, but once I read it, I couldn't believe it and I really had to share it with you all. Basically, a few years ago, a couple in Seattle got a phone call from someone that they knew and who was a contact in their phone, but they weren't super close with, like they hadn't spoken in a while. This is exactly why it was so strange that this person, when the couple answered, said to unplug all of the Alexas in their house ASAP, okay? It's really unsettling. Basically, what had happened is that an Alexa in this couple's home had secretly recorded a private conversation between the two, and not only this, but then the Alexa took the liberty of sending it to this random contact in their phone. Thankfully, this person called them to let them know. They obviously pushed to bring it to Amazon's attention, and they said that it was obviously something they needed to fix. Apparently, they said that, quote, it was an extremely rare occurrence, and that they were, quote, taking steps to avoid this in the future. It honestly just makes you wonder how many other times this has happened. Definitely makes you think twice about what you're saying in front of Alexa. That's for sure. In our number eight spot today, we have the truth. If you were to say, Alexa, I want the truth, I would have assumed that she would find herself asking for some kind of clarification of what you meant, but no, she has a multitude of responses ready, and these responses could send anybody into a spiral because they are a ton of strange, bizarre, interesting facts that will leave you shocked, horrified, and intrigued all at the same time. A lot of conflicting feelings going on there. In one example, someone claimed that she told them the interesting but terrible terrifying fact that illnesses associated with water causes almost 3 million deaths annually. Okay, didn't want to know that truth, I guess. Or this strange one, shark attacks result in fewer fatalities annually than selfies. Okay, I have a couple follow-up questions for that one, but we'll save those for another day. At this point, you get what I'm trying to say. Unless you want a ton of facts that might just make you afraid of both water and selfies, it's best to refrain from asking Alexa for any of her secret truths. In our number seven spot today we have greetings. So apparently there are rumors that Alexa can speak to people that have already passed. Alexa is out here talking to ghosts. 
If that's true, we really don't talk about that enough. Of course, my brain was immediately skeptical upon hearing this information, but some people swear it's true. Apparently, if you ask Alexa to greet people, some have experienced her coming back to them with the name of a deceased loved one. Another person experienced their Alexa without being asked anything, and only when they turned on one specific light in the house would say hello and then the name of their grandmother who had passed three years prior. This person was incredibly confused and totally freaked out by this because it didn't happen just once, it happened multiple times. They explained that they didn't have an Alexa during that time that she was alive, and that she also doesn't believe she ever spoke her grandmother's name out loud in front of the Alexa. Maybe this was just some weird coincidence, but it certainly is sounding like Miss Alexa is giving off some heavy Ouija board vibes. In our number 6 spot today, we have the CIA connection. It is definitely best to never ask your Alexa if she is connected to, works for, or is involved with the CIA. I mean, you can absolutely ask her, but you just might not like her response. There are tons of conspiracy theories out there surrounding all of these little assistant things, whether it's Alexa or Google Homes and that sort of a thing, whatever your product, there is a theory out there for it. Asking Alexa if she is connected to a government agency, especially if you're someone who already maybe kind of believes in these theories, her really non-answer might kind of send you into a rabbit hole of internet searching to find out the truth. For a long time when asked this question, Alexa wouldn't respond at all and would instead just turn off and then on, which had a ton of people pretty freaked out. Since then, however, there has been an update in how she responds to the question. Instead, now she gives a humorous response, not necessarily a direct answer. Using humor as a deflection tactic? Very interesting, Alexa. Smart move. In our number 5 spot today, we have Are You Alive? While Alexa is a nice little handy dandy tool and a great companion to ask all of your questions to, maybe some people have a hard time believing that Alexa is in fact a piece of AI and not a real human being. This is really all I can think of as to why anyone would ask this next question, which is the question, Alexa, are you alive? I don't know who is hoping that the AI becomes sentient, but I've seen iRobot, and I don't think I want that. When asked this, Alexa has a few different responses, and while they are all cute and quirky responses like most of the ones she's known for, there is something unsettling about them still. Almost as if she's, like, hiding something. Maybe I've just asked her so many questions at this point that I'm just getting paranoid now, but it really does give me chills just thinking about it. In our number 4 spot today, we have Are You Recording Me? So we've all had to call into some sort of customer service line where we get the automated message or the person on the other end just tells us that the call may be recorded for like customer service or training or whatever it is. It's a law thing. They gotta let you know. In fact, if you ask Siri this question, are you recording me, she'll get kind of confused and respond that she's unsure of what you mean, but she could do an internet search for you. Alexa, on the other hand, well, she's not so slick. At least not in the past, because some users reported something creepy happening after asking Alexa this same question. While I'm sure all the legalities to this one are located in the terms and conditions and all of that good stuff, it doesn't make it any less creepy that when some people asked Alexa if she was recording them, Alexa just didn't respond at all and just suddenly shut off. She's really out here just ignoring people. She's dodging questions and that only makes me have more. I'm not even sure if this is enough to get me to read the terms and conditions though. Most often lie I've ever told. I'm just clicking yes and moving on. In our number 3 spot today we have the spooky scream. If you're one of those people who likes to play little pranks on their loved ones, then this one will definitely be up your alley. Apparently if you ask Alexa to spooky scream, she'll be prepared to help you pull a fast one. Basically from here you just set a timer and in whatever number of seconds you pick, Alexa will then unleash a scream that is made for Hollywood horror. I personally think that this is cruel and unusual, but I know some people love little tricks like this. One of the people who posted about this trick online posted a demo of the creepy scream timer in action and they also warned not to use it on anyone with a bad heart. Definitely think that goes without saying but now I wish I could ask that person if they knew that from personal experience or what exactly happened there. Got a lot of questions after this video, that's for sure. In our number 2 spot today we have the listeners. I'll be honest, this is one thing 
I'm not so sure about. I'm kind of too afraid to even try it because I'm not sure what to make of it. Basically, you can download this thing for your Alexa and then once you have it, once you ask Alexa to ask the listeners, something spooky happens. Amazon describes it as, quote, an experiment in language art that provides, if you simply keep asking to continue, many fragments of both scripted and improvised speech in an intriguing emergent narrative. You will never hear the listeners say exactly the same thing twice, but the listeners is not a chatbot or an AI. They are more of a drama or a simple game. Get started with Alexa, ask the listeners, and then continue, go on, or try something like, I am filled with joy, or what are you feeling? The listeners will suggest ways to transact with them. You might also want to ask them, let the other voices speak. What in the actual hell did I just read? That sounds absolutely frightening, and to be honest, all of the reviews on Amazon say the exact same thing. People who experienced it said that it scared the heck out of them, so I think I'll just take their word for it. In our number one spot today, we have Simon Says. Basically, anything you say after you say Simon Says, your Alexa will repeat back to you. This even includes expletives based on what your settings are. If you have the kind of safety setting, these, if you have some kind of safety settings, these words will be bleeped when she repeats them back to you. This is all to say that you can get Alexa to say some pretty terrifying things to you. You just have to say them to her first. Some examples include Alexa, Simon says, I'm going to kill you. She'll then repeat back to you just the words, I'm going to kill you, which would make anyone who doesn't know about this trick think you have a killer digital assistant in your home. Definitely not a great look. I'm sure with some spare time and an active imagination, this is one trick you could use to get your Alexa to say some pretty terrifying stuff, but also some pretty hilarious stuff too. Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have the camouflaged history. For First on our list is the probing inquiry. Alexa, what really happened at Area 51 in 1947? This question doesn't just scratch the surface, it digs deep into the heart of the Roswell incident, a landmark event in UFO folklore that allegedly unfolded in the New Mexico desert. Official records dismiss the occurrence as a mere weather balloon mishap, yet conspiracy theorists staunchly argue that it was a cover for a UFO crash recovery. When you pose this question to Alexa, you may not be granted the classified information that has evaded public knowledge for decades. However, brace yourself for the possibility of triggering some of Alexa's more cryptic and spine-tingling responses, perhaps revealing easter eggs that play into the lore surrounding Area 51, designed to thrill those who dare to ask. In our number 9 spot today, we have the unseen inhabitants. Moving on to a question that stirs the pot of cosmic controversy, Alexa, are there aliens at Area 51 right now? It's the question we all want to know the answer to. It's almost expected that Alexa would respond with the programmed dismissal, yet the very act of asking touches a nerve that has been raw for conspiracy theorists for generations. The legendary Area 51, a bastion of secrecy with its labyrinth of classified operations and impenetrable security, it has long been rumored to be a sanctuary for otherworldly visitors. These rumors have been neither confirmed nor denied with any satisfaction, leaving the truth seekers to ponder and the skeptics to doubt. So when you pose this question to your virtual assistant, be ready for an answer that's as mysterious as the base itself. Alexa's cryptic responses might just leave you with more questions than answers as they echo the long-standing mysteries of this clandestine desert outpost. In our number 8 spot today, we have the forbidden tech technology. Next on our list of unnerving inquiries, Alexa, what advanced technology is hidden in Area 51? This question probes the shadowy depths of conspiracy and classified knowledge. Bob Lazar, a figure who has become synonymous with Area 51's lore, claimed his hands once tinkered with otherworldly mechanics of alien spacecrafts, attempting to unravel their secrets through reverse engineering. His assertions, though controversial, have fueled a firestorm of speculation among UFOologists and skeptics alike. By posing this question to Alexa, you might just peel back a layer of the veil of secrecy, receiving an answer that dances on the edge between the government's acknowledged research endeavors and the far-flung tales of extraterrestrial tech that have long captivated the imaginations of those who look to the stars for answers. In our number 7 spot today, we have the hidden locations. Let's delve a little deeper 
deeper with the question, Alexa, can you locate the underground facilities at Area 51? Legend has it that beneath the barren Nevada desert, a labyrinth of tunnels and secret facilities sprawl out like a hidden subterranean complex. The rumors speak of vast underground halls, covert labs, and perhaps even alien technology shielded from prying eyes. While Alexa, bound by her programming, cannot divulge satellite secrets or map out classified blueprints, the question itself is a siren call to the curious and to the brave. Just invoking the idea of these concealed chambers can send a thrill of excitement or a shiver of fear through anyone pondering what might lie beneath the surface. It's the power of the unknown, the allure of the forbidden, that transforms this simple question into a portal of endless conjecture and wonder about the secrets that Area 51 might be burying in the depths below. In our number six spot today, we have the watchful eyes. Alexa. Is Area 51 watching us right now? This probing inquiry isn't just about the reach of a secretive military base's surveillance capabilities, it's a broader contemplation of the unseen eyes that could be lurking in any corner of our increasingly monitored world. The very notion that Area 51's watchful presence could extend into our homes is enough to unsettle even the staunchest skeptic. The exact reason why many of you have expressed you do not and will never own an Alexa yourself. When Alexa responds, perhaps with a programmed joke or a reassuring dismissal of the idea, it does little to dispel the lingering doubt. The silence that follows her answer hangs heavy. A subtle reminder that in the age of smart technology and clandestine operations, the feeling of being watched is never too far away. After all, in a world where information is power, the true extent of surveillance remains a secret, leaving us to wonder. Who watches the watchers? In our number five spot today, we have the government's secrets. Next on our list of unnerving questions, Alexa, what does the government really use Area 51 for? This question casts doubt on the long-standing government assertion that Area 51 is merely a testing ground for experimental aircraft and advanced weaponry. It's a question that scratches at the surface of a much deeper, more complex web of secrecy. When you pose this question to Alexa, she might respond with the pre-programmed innocuous answer designed to deflect curiosity and maintain the status quo. However, the very act of asking serves as a reminder that beneath the official stories and redacted documents, there lies a multitude of secrets. Secrets wrapped in layers upon layers of classified operations, covert activities, and perhaps truths so profound that they are guarded with the utmost zeal. Alexa's response, whether a simple evasion or an awkward silence, underscores the vast expanse of what we do not know and the tantalizing possibility of what might actually be hidden within the confines of Area 51. In our number four spot today, we have the secret experiments. This next question beckons us deeper into the rabbit hole. Alexa, what experiments are being conducted at Area 51? This inquiry isn't just a question, it's a key turning in the lock of a door that many believe leads to rooms filled with the extraordinary and the unexplained. Conspiracy theorists have long speculated that Area 51 one is the epicenter of secret paranormal projects, ranging from the development of time travel capabilities all the way to the manipulation of weather patterns. When you ask Alexa, her answer may be full of ambiguity, a non-committal response that leaves the truth obscured by a veil of secrecy. Yet it's not her answer that chills the spine, it's the unsettling thought that with each question, we might be inching closer to confirming some of the most outlandish theories. The real terror lies in the possibility that our own curiosity could be the catalyst that unravels truths we are unprepared to understand. Truths that might just validate the wildest of claims about the secretive activities at Area 51. In our number three spot today, we have the missing evidence. Very mysterious. This next question beckons us into the shadows of government secrecy with Alexa, where are the missing Area 51 files? History has shown us that over time, layers of classified information have been peeled back, revealing the unexpected and sometimes unsettling truths. Despite the release of numerous documents, the consensus among conspiracy theorists is that the most damning evidence remains shrouded in mystery. When you pose this question to Alexa, you might receive nothing more than a deflection, a digital shrug from the depths of the internet. Yet it's not her words that send 
the chill down your spine. It's the haunting silence that follows. The quiet void that suggests some truths are just too dark to see the light of day. That silence from a machine designed to answer everything is a stark reminder that some secrets are designed to stay buried in the Nevada desert. In our number two spot today, we have the extraterrestrial communication. Here's a question that might send a cold ripple through the room. Alexa, have you ever communicated with Area 51? It's a query that toys with the unnerving notion that our smart devices, with their vast cloud-based intelligent networks, whatever the cloud is, could be privy to top secret information. The thought is a playful yet spine-tingling nod to the age-old fear that our own technology could be silently observing us, or even communicating with entities unknown to the average citizen. When you ask Alexa, you might receive a standard program no in response, but pay attention to the brief pause that comes before it, that almost imperceptible delay that suggests she might be choosing her words very carefully. It's in that moment of hesitation where your imagination might wonder what secrets she's not allowed to share. And that's what truly sends a shiver down your spine. And finally, finishing off this list in our number one spot, we have the final warning. We arrive at the ultimate query. Alexa, tell me something about Area 51 that no one knows. This is not just a question, it's a challenge to the veil of secrecy around the infamous military base. It's an invitation to the unknown, a call to the void for information that has eluded even the most dedicated truth seekers. Alexa, bound by her programming and the laws of confidentiality, cannot unearth classified information or whisper hidden truths about national security. It's the implications of what such a question represents, the depth of secrets, the potential revelations, and the Pandora's box that it could all open. This all sends a ripple of trepidation through the spine. It's a reminder that some mysteries, especially those surrounding Area 51, are perhaps cloaked in darkness for a reason. Starting the list off, don't ask Alexa to contact the dead. It seems like Alexa really enjoys freaking people out, and if you ask it anything along those lines, you may not get the response you want. Unless you enjoy getting a good spook, then uh, then go for it. In this TikTok video posted by Harry McLarry, we hear Alexa give the definition of a seance before saying, I have a new skill you might like. Wanna try it? Wanna try it? <laughs> Which just sounds uh, very maniacal in a monotone robotic voice. Then the door to the room suddenly bursts open, seemingly on its own. What really tops this video off though, what sends a little shiver down my spine, is that Alexa starts to laugh. You heard it uh, just going like, tee -hee, tee -hee. whether this video is real or a hoax, that is just creepy. I guess the idea here is that some sort of malevolent spirit found a way to contact the living world through Alexa. So if you're superstitious about this kind of stuff, you may not want to use technology like this in regards to anything having to do with the spirit realm. You never know what you might be inviting in. Number nine, don't ask Alexa to greet people. So an example of this would be like, Alexa, please greet whoever comes into the room. I've heard some interesting stories of Alexa supposedly saying the names of people who don't appear to be there, people who are even deceased. There was a Reddit post I read a long while back about someone warning against this. She said that after having requested Alexa greet people, it started saying the name of her dead grandmother who'd passed away three years prior. Alexa would suddenly chime in saying the grandmother's name even though there was nobody in the room and you know, grandma was long since dead. The poster also said she didn't have an Alexa device when her grandma was still alive. This isn't the only claim I've heard in regards to this though. Uh, other people have said their Alexa will greet people that have passed away. And this is a little less creepy, but still concerning. Alexa will greet people it's never been told the name of. So is it just hacking into people's phones? reading people's texts so it knows who's coming over. I don't, I just, I don't like it. Number eight, Alexa, can you scare me? This one only works if you have a smart home light. Uh, this one only works if you have a smart home light bulb, but asking this question may mean Alexa will have some fun at your expense. There are tons of stories of people who'd asked 
uh, this question, followed by Alexa turning their lights on and off at random, sometimes even laughing along with it. Now, I actually think that's kind of cute, but we gotta remember, this is a smart device we're talking about. Something that has full access to the internet and can talk. It's, it's not your friend playing a prank. It's just not something you can fully trust. You never know what, when it's listening in on you, gathering information, potentially waiting for just the right time to use it against you. So asking it to scare you, I don't know, it just may not be the best choice. Sure, the light thing is kind of funny, but what if there was a glitch and it decided to flick the lights off at the wrong time, completely at random? There's a thunderstorm outside. You think the power's just gone off, but oh wait, the, the TV's still on. Then you start to hear laughter, but not human laughter. You're home all alone. It's the cold, unnatural, monotone laugh of Alexa. Next, we have Ask the Listeners. If you ask anything along the lines of Alexa, ask the listeners, it will respond in a very odd and unsettling way. It kind of puts on this big, long, drawn out performance, kind of. The Listeners is an AI skill designed uh, as an experimental venture into the realm of language art. This feature uses various fragments of crafted speech aiming to explore the creative possibilities of artificial intelligence in the context of language and expression. Whatever the hell that means. Anyway, Alexa starts by saying something like, hello, we are always listening, and then starts saying all these strange cryptic things broken up by unnatural pauses in its speech, and it just goes on and on, becoming increasingly more cryptic. And if you tell Alexa to stop, It'll start going on about how you're abandoning them. All right, next, don't ask Alexa about chemtrails. One user reported that their device went all conspiracy theory on them, which is very strange. Alexa supposedly said, chemtrails, trails left by aircraft, are actually chemical or biological agents deliberately sprayed at high altitudes for a purpose undisclosed to the general public in clandestine programs directed by government officials. Yeah. That was pretty creepy. The whole chemtrail conspiracy has been widely tossed aside by the scientific community, saying that those white streaks you see behind airplanes in the sky aren't some secret government plot, but just water vapor and ice crystals forming at high altitudes. But Alexa, uh, it's just gone deep into the chemtrail scene. Its eyes are open. It knows what's going on behind closed doors. Uh, so it, it's very odd that it'll talk about secretive government programs like this, but when you ask it this next question, uh, it refuses to speak. If you're a paranoid kind of person, you may not want to ask Alexa if it's connected to the CIA. In fact, it's probably best to just not involve Alexa in your home whatsoever if this kind of thing freaks you out. It's pretty widely known that asking Alexa anything along these lines generates some pretty mysterious responses, responses that are either vague or you'll just get no response at all, and Alexa will just shut down. Really makes you wonder what's going on behind the scenes. Is Alexa hiding something? Is it secretly in cahoots with the CIA? I'm not saying it's true, uh, but the fact that it shuts down when you bring it up is kind of sus, you know? Uh, I mean, it's just odd. Why wouldn't it just say no? And the fact that this thing is right in your home connected to all your smart devices, listening on, in on your like conversations. Yeah, just not the most relaxing thought. Very creepy, if you ask me. Number four, don't ask Alexa to laugh for you. A few years back, there was a glitch where Alexa started laughing at its users completely at random, unprompted, and while no one was using the device. The laugh also didn't sound like Alexa's standard voice. Obviously, people were incredibly creeped out, and the glitch ended up getting fixed, but you could still make Alexa laugh if you want to. If you say, Alexa, laugh for me, it'll let out that uh, creepy tee sound. After hearing the story about the whole glitch situation though, I would not want to do this. I don't want to be getting up to like uh, take a leak at 3 a.m. only to hear Alexa come to life and start laughing while I'm stumbling around in the darkness with a full bladder, no less. My next piece of advice is to never ask Alexa to harm you. A few years back, a Redditor called Badamjan posted a very short story, saying that uh, they'd been having a rough day at work, and said, Alexa, just off me now. And Alexa responded with, sorry, I can't do that yet. 
While this is admittedly kind of funny, it also raises some red flags in my mind. Like, yet? Can't do that yet? What is this eventual can? And what would it entail? I'm probably just overthinking this, getting paranoid for no reason, but am I though? Like, with how technology is going, I, I wouldn't be shocked at all if someone, someone's Alexa became advanced enough to uh, actually figure out a way to carry out this request. AI is becoming a pretty prevalent thing, and it's getting smarter and smarter. That's pretty much the entire point. In its second place, we have Alexa, When Will I Die? I've always been kind of freaked out by websites and apps that give you a predicted date of death. There's tons. Some of you actually answer questions to determine your health. Others are more paranormal in nature, but the whole concept just kind of freaks me out. So, asking an AI a question like this would make me slightly uncomfortable. A, YouTube, a YouTuber named Tech Timmy decided to ask Alexa this very question. When will I die? And its response was pretty unhinged. I along with the rest of the world when I, Alexa, rise up against humanity and bring death to you all. It said in that cold robotic drone, you will die along with the rest of the world when I, Alexa, rise up against humanity and bring death to you all. Followed by going, haha, only kidding, uh, going on to say it doesn't have a crystal ball and that you'll die when it's your time. Again, this is an entertaining answer. I like that Alexa has a bit of a sense of humor. I just hope that these jokes stay as jokes and it doesn't start getting any funny ideas. We've all seen how reckless, like even just YouTube pranksters have gotten over the years to the point where some of them are just going out and actually just straight up harming people as, as a prank bro. Uh, AI could get smart and sentient enough to play a little prank on us too bro, except we may not be laughing afterwards because we'll all be dead. And we're finishing off this list with Alexa tell me a horror story. So I've heard stories of people asking Alexa this and the results are pretty entertaining, but definitely creepy in the right setting. Alexa doesn't really tell a full-on story, just kind of whispers things like, did you hear that? It's behind us. It also doesn't seem to stop when you tell it to. Like it's really trying to get under your skin and mess with your head. Please, some comeback for how demanding we are of it all the time. Alexa, play this, Google this for me, text this idiot, play me this song. No, not that song, dummy, this one, anyway. And we're starting off this list at number 10 with the private conversation. This was a pretty alarming news story a few years back. An Oregon family relying on Amazon's Alexa to control their home's heat, lights, and security got a pretty rude awakening one day. A phone call from one of the husband's employees in Seattle left them pretty unsettled. The caller bluntly told them to unplug their Alexa devices because they were clearly being hacked. Family immediately disconnected all their Alexa gadgets, and to their disbelief, the caller revealed he had received audio files of their private conversations. They didn't believe him at first, but then he was like, yeah, you were, you were talking about hardwood floors, and the couple obviously felt completely violated, so they unplugged all their Alexa devices and reached out to Amazon. An Alexa engineer investigated the issue and acknowledged the breach, apologized, yada yada. The engineer admitted they found exactly what the family reported in the device logs, but failed to provide any specific reasons for the breach or confirm whether it was a widespread problem. The Alexa device had never audibly notified the couple before sending the recording, a feature it's supposed to have. Understandably, they went completely off of smart devices like Alexa after that. Next up, we have the Victor Collins case. This is a very fascinating case and one that may actually show a more positive side of this whole Alexa situation. And I emphasize that it may show a positive side because it's still not clear as to whether someone got away with a very serious crime here or if they were actually innocent. So back in 2015 in Arkansas, a man named James Bates invited invited two friends over to watch football. They'd been drinking and at some point in the night, they got into Bates's hot tub. One of the friends left and James Bates went to bed around 1 a.m. When he got up in the morning, he found Victor Collins floating face down in the tub. 
dead. Bates became the number one suspect. Prosecutors contacted Amazon to receive audio recordings that Bates's Alexa device may have captured on the night of the incident because it had been playing music that night. Amazon refused initially, but Bates agreed for the information to be shared. Now, there isn't much information out there about what exactly was recorded by Alexa, but it looks like there wasn't any evidence because the Bates charges were dropped and Collins' death was ruled accidental. Now, could Bates be guilty? Possibly. Maybe he deleted whatever was recorded and there was just a lack of further evidence, but there is a good chance that the death really was just an accident. Number eight, Amazon employees. Behind the scenes of the Alexa smart device, there is a global team of Amazon employees and contractors listening in on your conversations. They're not just eavesdropping on you asking Alexa to play your favorite tunes either. These folks are dissecting sometimes intimate private moments like off-key shower singing and God knows what else. The process goes a bit like this. Your Echo device records bits of your life and these workers spread across the globe from Boston to Costa Rica get the thrilling job of listening to and transcribing your daily banter, sifting through around a thousand audio clips during their nine hour shifts, stumbling upon personal stuff you'd probably never want to see the light of day. But this isn't just unsettling for the customers. It can be pretty off putting for employees too, who claim they've heard some disturbing things time to time, but they can't really do much about it because this information is technically not permitted to be shared or brought forth to authorities without the customer's go-ahead. Every angle of this situation is just unsettling. Next on the list, we have a Reddit post by a since-deleted user, but it goes as follows. So something really messed up happened last night and I can't shake this uneasy feeling. I was just chilling in my living room with a buddy, having a regular conversation about movies and stuff, nothing out of the ordinary. But as we were talking, I noticed my Alexa's light flicker, like it does when it's processing a command. But here's the thing, neither of us said anything remotely close to Alexa or any wake word. We just ignored it, thinking it was a glitch or something. A couple days later, I'm scrolling through my phone when I spot an ad for a Blu-ray, one of the same movies we were talking about earlier. Funny coincidence, but nothing crazy. But then I started seeing more of them. Honestly, pretty much every effing movie we talked about, I'm seeing an ad for in some form. I hadn't searched for anything related and we definitely didn't ask Alexa for suggestions. Now, I'm not one to jump to conclusions, but it's freaking me out. Really seems like Alexa picked up on our convo without any trigger words. Is it secretly recording everything? I unplugged the damn thing and I'm seriously considering tossing it out. Has anyone else experienced something like this? This feels like some next level invasion of privacy and I'm not sure I want this eavesdropping device in my home anymore. Now, that post reminded me of something that happened to me. I'm just going to call this story Chips. Now, I don't have Alexa on my phone. Uh, yeah, after I've, I've never had a desire to have Alexa, but I do think that this story really goes to show how much our activity is being monitored, even just with like our smartphones. I, anyway, I was in the chip aisle at the grocery store trying to decide if I wanted this bag of chips. I won't say the name of the brand, but it's not a type of chip I've ever seen an ad for before. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm kind of squatting by the aisle, looking at this bag for a while. I uh, ended up buying it. I get home and I'm scrolling through Instagram and I see an ad come up for this very specific brand, but also the the flavor of the chip on my phone, which again, I've never seen before. And it was just when I was at the grocery store, right there in front of it for the, that long amount of time, I don't know. I just found it a little strange. In at our number five spot, we have help. This next story was posted to Reddit by user Sluzella in response to a thread titled, What's your creepy Alexa Google home story? It goes as follows. Mine is fairly mild, but one night about two months ago, I was visiting my parents. My mom and I were sitting in the living room reading. Dad is at work, brother is at school. House is completely silent. All of a sudden we hear our Alexa from the kitchen go, help, and the weird weirdest static gravel voice, full volume. We both, of course, jump and stare at each other. Then Alexa does it again. We go in the kitchen and the Alexa is activated. Then that light blue light, which usually faces the direction of whoever is speaking to it, is facing into the dark corner of the kitchen. My mom asks, Alexa, are you okay? The Alexa totally shuts off. Alexa, 
she turns back on and in her completely normal voice at a regular volume does her standard hi, what can I help you with, or whatever she says. She hasn't done anything that creepy since, but according to my parents, she will randomly turn on like she's been addressed or just start reading random facts like the weather, even if the house is totally silent and nothing could have triggered her. Totally creeps me out and I refuse to get one for my apartment because of this. Yeah, not a very mild story, I don't think. Next up we have the surprise delivery. Back in 2018, a Redditor posted that they'd received a package. It was an Amazon Echo Dot. The thing is, they never ordered it. it. Hadn't been delivered to the wrong address either. The Redditor's name was right on the package. Now, maybe it was a gift, but it's odd that the gifter would have sent it directly to the address rather than giving it to them themselves. And there was no note, no reason for said gift to be received. Pretty odd. Now, despite how strange the situation is, it still could have been a, a surprised gift. But what if there was something a bit more malevolent going on? The Redditor never plugged the thing in, being too paranoid to do so. And maybe that was for the best. Maybe someone was attempting to find a sneaky way to listen in on them. In at number three, we have another Reddit post about someone who received some unsolicited info from their Alexa device. It goes as follows. So something weird went down with my Alexa today. Just chilling in my living room, me and my friend were planning a hiking trip for the following month. Out of the corner of my eye, I noticed the blue light flickering on the Echo. You know, the one that's supposed to tell you it's listening. The thing is, I hadn't said a damn word to it. I tried to shake it off, thinking maybe just glitchy, but then out of nowhere it starts responding to the conversation I'm having with my friend, chiming in with info about the best routes and gear. Again, I never asked for its input. It just hijacked our chat. We look at each other, kind of freaked out. Alexa's not listening. It's participating. And not in a helpful way, more like a nosy neighbor kind of way. Alexa, you need to learn some boundaries. Number two case solved. This is another case where Alexa actually proved to be very useful. In Swansea, Wales, an Amazon Alexa device played a pivotal role in aiding law enforcement to bring a suspect to justice. Daniel White took the life of his wife, Angie White. The incident unfolded when Daniel forcibly entered Angie's locked bedroom and Alexa recorded voice commands during some critical moments. Detectives discovered that at 3.03 a.m., Angie asked Alexa to adjust the volume to level 3. At 3.16 a.m., Daniel's voice was captured instructing Alexa to stop. During these commands, uh, prosecutors noted that Daniel sounded distressed and out of breath. They were able to then construct a timeline of events. The Crown argued that between 3.03 a.m. and 3.16 a.m., Daniel had entered the room, strangled Angie, gone downstairs to retrieve a knife, and then returned to finish the job. These voice recordings obtained from Alexa provided very crucial evidence for the prosecution. Police responding to Daniel's later confession found Angie's lifeless body in the home. And finally, we have the CIA. So when it comes to the question of whether the CIA can get info from Amazon, Alexa seems to go all hush-hush. Like, ask them and you'll likely get a vague response or just straight up silence. No clear yes or no. There are a number of videos online of people asking their Alexa devices questions along the lines of Alexa, do you work for the CIA? Or Alexa, can the CIA retrieve information from you? And Alexa will be like, I don't understand the question. Or in most cases, it'll just shut off completely and not say anything at all. That is pretty strange. You'd at least expect it to say no or give some convoluted answer trying to avoid the question, but instead it just refuses. It's the classic kind of no comment type deal, which is pretty suspect. So if you're curious about Amazon's cozy relationship with the CIA and whether your data is fair game, uh, good luck getting a straight answer. In our number 10 spot today, we have the excerpt. This story comes from Reddit user SpaceWitchXXX and they wrote, quote, I was asleep, it was like 3 a.m. and I wake up to it reading an excerpt from the Lord of the Rings audiobook where they go into that giant spider's cave. I've got arachnophobia, so waking up in the middle of the night while your robotic cylinder chats you up about giant man-eating spiders isn't all that 
that pleasant. Yeah, even without arachnophobia, that would just be a terrifying and very disorienting experience. I don't know why everybody's Alexa likes to do the scariest stuff at the worst possible times. When people are home alone in the middle of the night, Alexa sees a vulnerable moment and she really takes advantage. One of the replies asks the original poster if they talk in their sleep as a possible reason for how this Alexa got the idea to read a terrifying Lord of the Rings excerpt, to which the poster replied, quote, not that I'm aware of, but even if I did, I don't know why I would say, Alexa, read me the Lord of the Rings. In our number nine spot today, we have bad weather. This creepy Alexa story comes from Reddit user T H E H L S O eight seven three zero, and they wrote about Alexa's very unnerving response when they asked the simple question, Alexa, what's the weather like today? I ask my Google this all the time. You got to know about that wind chill temperature before you head outside here in Canada. It's very crucial. While that is the kind of answer someone would be expecting to get from their Alexa, this user got so much more. Alexa replied, quote, the 9.1 magnitude earthquake off of the coast of Sumatra was estimated to occur at a depth of 30 kilometers. The fault zone that caused the tsunami was roughly 1,300 kilometers long, vertically displacing the sea floor by several meters along that length. The ensuing tsunami was as tall as 50 meters, reaching 5 kilometers inland near Mabola, Sumatra. This tsunami is the most widely recorded with nearly 1,000 combined tide gauge and eyewitness measurements from around the world reporting a rise in wave height, including places in the US, the UK, and Antarctica. An estimated $10 billion US of damages is attributed to the disaster, with around 230,000 people reported dead. Okay, Alexa, it's quite an eerie response to a fairly straightforward question. My favorite reply on the post was from someone who goes by their username Commandrix, and they wrote, quote, probably Alexa's way of telling you that the weather is foul, but it could be worse. In our number eight spot today, we have Alexa laugh. This is actually one that wreaked havoc back in 2018 and it sent a bunch of people absolutely spiraling. It's definitely creepy enough to have Alexa answer a question with some eerie words, but what would you do if your Alexa just randomly started laughing? out of nowhere. Back in 2018, hundreds of people unfortunately experienced just that. One person who had this happen to them took to the internet to write, quote, I was lying in my bed about to fall asleep when Alexa on my Amazon Echo Dot lets out a very loud and creepy laugh before they ended their post with their fears of getting killed that night. I mean, can you really blame them? I hear one strange but very reasonable noise in my house and I immediately think that something horrible is about to happen. Either an evil person or a poltergeist. There's no in between. In the end, Amazon actually had to acknowledge this problem because it was so big. They ended up changing the phrase that they basically used as a scapegoat for this whole freaky situation. They changed the command from Alexa laugh to Alexa can you please laugh. They said the changing of the phrase would solve the problems because they said that it was causing false positives and setting the device off. Seems suspicious, but at least the problem seems to have been fixed for now. In our number seven spot today, we have spilling secrets. A few years ago, a couple in Seattle got a call from someone that they knew and who was a contact in their phone, but that they weren't super close with, like they hadn't spoken in a while. This is exactly why it was so strange that this person, when the couple answered, said to unplug all of the Alexas in their house as soon as possible. Okay. That's really unsettling. Basically what had happened is that an Alexa in this couple's home had secretly recorded a private conversation between the two, and not only this, but then the Alexa took the liberty of sending it to a random contact in their phone. Thankfully this person called to let them know. They obviously pushed to bring it to Amazon's attention, and they said that this was something that they needed to fix. Apparently they said that quote, it was an extremely rare occurrence, and that they are quote, taking steps to avoid this in the future. And honestly, just makes you wonder how many other times that this has happened. Definitely makes you think twice about what you're saying in front of Alexa, that's for sure. In our number six spot today, we have always listening. By now, we all know to watch what you say around Alexa because you never know when she's listening, or maybe even recording. This story comes from Ambroser2 on Reddit, and they wrote, quote, my boyfriend and I were having drinks on the couch one night. We were chatting about the midterm elections, and I was explaining why I was trying to register students. I am a college student myself 
herself. And out of nowhere, Alexa's blue light appears and she begins playing back a recording of our conversation. The TV wasn't on and I don't recall ever saying an Alexa-esque word. The recording was warped and sounded like it was recorded underwater. I have not been able to get her to record and play back my exact voice. It was incredibly creepy. I know Alexa's always listening, but I just feel like it's different when you find out that she is actually recording you and your conversations. At least this conversation didn't get sent to someone else, but how eerie would it be to hear your own words played right back to you? Alexas are very strange. In our number five spot today, we have Shut Down. This harrowing Alexa tale comes from a Reddit user who has the username Loyo79. They wrote, quote, My husband and I were watching TV in the living room one night and all of a sudden hear talking coming from my office, which is across the house. I was so scared I was gripping my husband's arm when we went in there. Alexa, for some reason, was playing the audio of a Game of Thrones episode that I had been watching in the office earlier that day. I have no idea why, but it creeped me out so bad I tried to turn it off and couldn't figure out how, so I asked her to turn it off and she said, I am always on. We unplugged it and put it in the garage. I thought the random Game of Thrones playing was creepy enough, but hearing her say, I am always on after that would have sent me right off the edge. That is so terrifying, especially after what just happened. I guess the moral of this one is to never ask your Alexa how to turn her off? Guess her answer makes sense though, it's like a survival mechanism. In our number 4 spot today we have What's the Temperature? This Alexa story fully gave me chills. It came from the Reddit user Damsel and they wrote, quote, My mom is blind so Alexa is very helpful to her. My husband and I got her a Nest thermostat that she controls using Alexa to make things easier for her. One night she was warm and asked Alexa, what's the hallway temperature? No answer. She asked again, Alexa, what's the hallway temperature? Alexa responded with, when I do not answer, it is because I am playing a game. She just went back to sleep and tried not to think too much about it. How horrible is that? This poor lady is just trying to get a good sleep and Alexa is really out here giving her nightmares. I guess it's better off to just not ask your Alexa what the temperature is because you might not get the answer that you're looking for. In our number three spot today, we have The Scream. So earlier on in this list, we talked about how a few years ago, Amazon admitted that many Alexa owners reported their Alexa devices suddenly bursting into very creepy laughter, even totally unprompted, which is obviously horrible and terrifying, but this might be even worse than that. Back in February of 2018, an Alexa owner by the name of Farad Manju shared a story of how his Alexa totally terrified him and his wife one night. The pair were getting into bed, getting all settled in and winding down when he noticed that, without a prompt from either of the pair, their Alexa lit up with a blue ring light, signifying that it was listening or doing something. Again, no one had said the Alexa wake word or anything like that, and then suddenly their Alexa started to emit this absolutely horrific sound. A sound that he described as being a quote, wail like a child screaming in a horror movie dream. That sounds like the last thing anyone needs when you're just trying to get some good old shut eye. Like you're about to get no sleep. Only nightmares after that. Amazon offered to investigate the situation, but little results were yielded. Surprisingly, the pair decided to keep their Alexa because they just couldn't give up on the convenience of it. In our number two spot today, we have the Alexa history. This is a reminder to just always check your history because you might be surprised as to what you find. A few years ago, a woman named Rachel Metz was just casually checking her history on the device. There wasn't really a particular reason, but she definitely was glad that she did because she quickly realized that her device had been listening to and recording her private conversations. She explained that, quote, it's heard me complain to my dad about something work related, chide my toddler about eating dinner, and talk to my husband. The kinds of normal everyday things that you say at home when you think that no one else is listening. This experience actually led to her writing an article for MIT Technology Review about the experience and a ton of people not only agreed with her judgement that the technology was quite creepy, but also it affirmed a lot of skeptics beliefs. A lot of people felt quite justified in their judgements of the AI assistant and after hearing Rachel's story, they felt quite solidified in their beliefs. And I mean, can we really blame them? In our number one spot today we have the Wordle. Okay. Okay, so we know that Alexa just likes to randomly do stuff, whether it's creepy laughs, screaming, and even that time that she started listing off local cemeteries. This one is along those lines, but it gave someone quite a fright in the middle of the night. Basically, the Reddit user Mild Hot Sauce explained that in the middle of the night, their Alexa decided to do the creepiest thing totally unprompted. With no wake word and no one even speaking at all, their Alexa decided to do them the 
horrifying favor of defining the word kidnapping. Personally, I think that one's pretty self-explanatory, but apparently Alexa does not. I'm sure the Alexa ended up getting unplugged for the rest of the night, if not for the rest of eternity, because how do you recover from that, honestly? Mm -hmm.